Well, a nearly 300 unit 17 story apartment complex is being talked about for downtown Knoxville, a project that a lot of people are saying is out of place. Our John Pearsos is following this for us. John, the Knoxville Knox County Design Board heard the proposal this week. Not everyone's happy about it. Yeah, well, Casey, it's a massive project by Woodfield Development. They're based out of South Carolina. The proposal calls for a 17 story apartment building right by the Henley Street Bridge on the downtown side of the river. It would have 12 stories of apartments on top of a five layer parking garage. Now, these are some of the renderings for the project. The complex would have 290 units housing about 400 people. It would be right on the corner of West Hill Avenue and Locust Street, extending down towards the river. The plan has generated a lot of concern from the community. A petition is actually going around by a group called Keep Knoxville Charming. It has already generated nearly 600 signatures in the past week and a half. But it's citizens from all over Knoxville and Knox County who don't want such a monstrosity to be introduced to the heart of downtown Knoxville. Those on the south side don't want to look across the river and not be able to see the skyline, not be able to see the sun sphere. Tom Goldsby, a business professor at UT, says the apartment building is also in a really bad spot and won't be able to handle the extra traffic. The design review board did not approve or deny the application this week. They gave the company several recommendations, saying they need to provide more information on pedestrian safety near the parking garage entrance. They're also asking for the site plan and parking garage to meet city engineering standards. Now moving forward, it's up to the Woodfield development to bring the proposal to the board again after those changes have been made. Woodfield declined to comment for this story. Casey. All right, John, a story that we will pay close attention to. Thanks for that update.